Thank you for clicking on the video. Today, I'm actually gonna talk about something a little different uh, than what I've talked about before on my channel. And that's actually about a website called DVD Beaver. And it's not what you think it is, if you're unfamiliar with the site. It doesn't have anything to do with beavers or animals, and it doesn't really have anything to do with more adult-oriented content. Uh, what it actually is, is a website that details not only reviews of movies and like Blu-ray and DVD and 4K releases, but the main reason why I like this website and a big part of the website is going through basically a catalog of titles, um, older stuff and newer stuff, but it catalogs all the home media releases from DVD onwards. And it's a really neat, feature that you can search alphabetically or you can just use a search bar to try and find what you're looking for. But it will talk about all these different home media releases of these films. And it's a really neat feature uh, and website for looking through these older catalog titles and trying, at least for me, to decide what is a good release if I'm trying to find authenticity in terms of like the movie as it was theatrically. So say you're going to look up The Thing from John Carpenter. Uh, now this is the Scream Factory release by Shout Factory. Uh, this was a couple years ago when they uh, brought this out. It's a two disc collector's edition. It's got two discs in here. It also has reversible artwork, which this is the more standard traditional art. And then there's some newer art on the inside. I just prefer the standard art. But let's say you're looking up this uh, movie here, and I know they have this on the website already because I've looked it up multiple times. Um, it catalogs not only this release, but also the 4K Arrow release, which I haven't personally seen or owned or anything. But it also goes back and shows all the older DVD releases that had come out up to this point. And goes through and talks about aspect ratio, surround sound formats. Uh, it puts screenshots up there of color grading. So you can see if things have been switched around with the colors. Uh, it shows whether or not things have been digitally enhanced with sharpening or DNR effects and smoothing that's on there. And it shows all these pictures and it shows graphs of the surround sound bit rates and formats. It shows the storage capacity on the disc, shows all the menus, shows uh, all the special features, uh, whether or not they have special features. A few of the older releases of the thing were just the movie. It didn't have any special features on there. And it goes through and details all this stuff and it lets you read through and really look and decide which one you want to have in your collection, you know, and which one may look more authentic or which one may have more digital artifacts or smoothing or DNR or enhanced, you know, sharpening added to it versus something that looks more natural on film. And for me, that's why I ended up purchasing this version of the thing, because reading through everything that's on the site, looking at all the pictures and stuff that were on there, I felt that this version, uh, at least at the time I bought this, because I don't believe the Arrow 4K release was out yet, this looked to be the most well-preserved version of the thing. And it's not only that, the other main thing that's on here, if I remember correctly, I have to look here. I believe this one has the original audio mix because the thing was not originally theatrically released with a surround sound audio. I believe it was either Dolby surround like Dolby stereo or maybe, maybe like a six track, like 4.0 or 4.1 audio mix. And this release has that. And that was a big factor in why I ended up purchasing this one over some of the other releases that were out there as well as the special features. It has stuff that was ported over from previous releases, and I believe it had a few new things that were kind of thrown in here, just little things. But 
anyway, so like, yeah, if you wanted to find this, that's a nice resource to look at to see all these things. Now, they don't do it for every film because uh, there's so many, and I find it's a really good resource. Now, there's other ones out there, too, other websites. There's one that's like uh, called DVD Compare, and that one's older. I don't know how much it's actually been updated over the years, or even a website like Blu-ray.com. But sometimes I find some of these other sites tend to just focus in that, oh, yep, the Blu-ray, oh, yep, the 4K, that's automatically the best. It doesn't go back and look at DVD releases. So there's a whole catalog of titles in there that you can look at. And I highly recommend uh, taking a look at the website. And I'll have it linked below in the description uh, just to their homepage, and you can kind of browse at your leisure. But if you're someone who really does want to have theatrical accuracy on your catalog films especially um this is a great site you know and a tool to use to kind of narrow that stuff down and find out you know which one you think is going to be best for your purchase or maybe you want to purchase all of them because of special features or different things that are on there you know it's all up to you and how you want to collect so anyways that's just a little video i wanted to do about that website i think it's a good resource that i should kind of pass along uh to people out there in youtube land uh so with that, I'm going to say thanks uh, for watching the video. Thanks for everyone who's watched my content in general and su subscribed to my channel. Uh, it really, as I always say, is humbling and really blows my mind uh, how much traction everything has built up recently. Um, it's really kind of baffling to me. I didn't think I would be where I'm at right now, just so short into my YouTube career, uh, especially for something that I just do for fun on my free time. I really do appreciate it. So with that, I'm going to say thank you again, and I will see you in the next video. And I have some more content in the works, so be on the lookout for it. See you then. Thank you.